Yeah, I'm gonna use the, the nebulizer right here. And we've been putting the silver stuff in there mixed halfway with the um with the saline right here. I gotta make this stuff get clear. But there it is. But yeah, uh This right here, it seemed like it, it been loosening them up. I don't know if it's this loosening them up real good because, you know, I put it in there for 10 minutes. I used this on here for 10 minutes. I put them right there in there. Uh, it's a it's a, a, a carrier bag wrap, put, wrapped up in a plastic bag. You know, it's like a incubator. You know what I'm saying? So we leave a little oxygen, put them in there, let this run right here and the nebulizer and uh yeah then i suction them out see this with this machine right here if this works and, and he survives i really think it's, it'd be this machine right here because i use this right here he's still not out the woods y'all but i use this thing right here I need to get a bigger one. Yeah, I'm gonna put it right here. I got the lights dimmed and everything. I suction them out with that down his throat. Once everything loosened up and everything. So, and then I switch to this one. Uh, yeah, this one right here. think yeah it's having a hard time zooming on this but yeah for they nose so i'm going back and forth y'all just to mess with this camera anyway yeah but this machine right here uh i like the last two times uh when it's i got crusty uh, you know i see him like going down to the um yeah, it's going down the wrong path, you know. He start, start having a hard time breathing, you know. I use 50% of this and saline. Give him a 10 minute, give him a 10 minute, 10 minute treatment, and uh, I go to town with this bad boy right here. I got the pressure up, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm just like literally trying to suction everything possibly up out of them you know what i'm saying i'm putting this down his throat I'm this going down his throat throat this right here and um the other one i use for his nose you know what i'm saying and i do that for like 15 to 20 minutes or two to where i feel like uh i got it all up and everything so that's what i've been doing Right now, um, yeah, so it's just like, you know, you lose seven pups, so it's like, now we're doing, he's like an experiment. We're doing everything that we can to save him. You know, of course, you know, a shout out to all the vets and everything, but, you know, when you go to the vets, you know, it's all about money. You know what I'm saying? We live in a, uh, uh, what is it, capitalism world. You know what I'm saying? It's all about money, capitalizing. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, they give your dog oxygen, you know, put them, give them oxygen, put them on a heater pad, put them in an incubator, and, you know what I'm saying, the dog still die, or, I mean, you know, he didn't come out of $1,500, $3,000, so, yeah, so, uh, yeah, we doing this, you know what I'm saying, because, uh, we don't want to lose pups. You know what I'm saying? We we want all our pups to survive. And um I'm even gonna learn how to do IVs. You know what I'm saying? I'll, everything, you know what I'm saying, the basics. You know what I'm saying? Do that stuff at home. You know, it's just it, it and and it is to save money and it is to you know, make sure you don't lose any pups, you know what I'm saying? Because that's one thing we don't wanna do. 
know what I'm saying? So they white here sleep. Like I said, these is cool, the cool ones, and this is uh we we call him solo now. He's solo. You know what I'm saying? He ain't he ain't out the woods, y'all. So if we do another video and you know, he ain't here with us, you know. Hey, we tried. You know what I'm saying? We we fighting. We fighting, we fighting, make this stuff happen. It's a nice experience. I mean, it's a good and bad experience, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, once you learn something. And we and we and, and in this cage right here, we still got little mama right here. You could say she like fading, fading puppy like. And so what I'm doing with her right now is um I'm keeping her uh hydrated, so I'm giving her shots of saline right here in the back of her neck or down down there. You know what I'm saying? She she she's still pumping. She's still pumping with us. So uh she got her got the heater pad still down there. Um yeah, and uh what's going on? What's what what's going on? Two feeding her. Got the two feeding going on. I don't want to put this on the needle. This is me. Uh, I'm coming to y'all raw tonight, child. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all see what's going on. Everything on the table is dog and everything. So, but yeah, I'm giving her uh, saline, giving her shots and everything. Uh, they're keeping her, keeping her hydrated because we don't got the oxygen machine. And then, uh, the, the nebulizer, nebulizer, whatever you want to call it, I'm giving, um, that's right over there. We, we, we give her one of those every now and then, two feeding. And, um, I also went to the store today, you know what I'm saying? Everything that's been on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Because YouTube University, you know, helps out a lot. So everything that's been on YouTube, um, we've been doing that. So I went out today. For the dogs, got some liver. Let's see. Bam, got some beef liver. Um, boiled it, boiled it down, you know, for the blood to come out. You know what I'm saying? So I got that right here in the refrigerator, <laughs> just like that. That's it right there. Uh, every two hours, I'm giving it to him. I'm about to give it to him here in a minute. I'm, I'm doing that. Got the bottles right there. Uh, yeah, it's it's been a grind. It's been a grind. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because you know, I'm gonna get this. We're gonna conquer this. And uh, yeah. So that's that's what's been going on and everything. So um, so far so good. You know what I'm saying? As soon as I seen this, I uh crusting up you know what i'm saying i went to town with that suction machine y'all got to get that suction machine because that suction machine right there um you can keep you can keep this bad boy on for 30 minutes an hour if you got to to go in town all the stuff that people are putting on uh youtube that's saying they suction it out with their mouth and all that or using that you know what i'm saying that ain't where it's at this is where it's at you know, it, even if, you know, he don't survive, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it's been doing a good job of getting all the mucus up when I put put the uh, the thing down his throat, you know what I'm saying? And giving him uh, the treatments and everything. Uh, but the first time, you know, I seen some stuff break up using the, the nebulizer, the nebulizer, whatever you want to call it. Is when I put that silver stuff in here. When I mix this in there 50 50, and then I'm not putting nothing down his throat that I gotta suck out. I'm using this that I put in this machine and put this down the stroke like two feet and, and go halfway down, not all the way down to his stomach, but halfway down where his uh lung where his lungs is at and just suction crazy. Once it all like kind of break up from using this, cause this been doing, I, I seen a difference in this. I, I seen it. So I don't know if it's this, I, I seen some, a difference in this. And then I just been going in with this machine like crazy. 
You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, this machine been it's heavy duty. It's it's been doing its job. So, like I'm gonna put them back in here with the bag over it to keep, uh, you know, the treatment inside there, <clears throat> so he can inhale it and everything. And I, I you know, I give a little mom her treatments and everything too. You know what I'm saying? So, so she over here, she over here, uh, chilling. I just feel like I got to give y'all like the, the live and direct of what's going on. She's like 7.5 ounces. She's still rocking and rolling. So, you know, we ain't giving up on her. So I'm keeping her hydrated, uh, tube feeding her, um, yeah, giving her the liver. And we're gonna and we're gonna see the process of little mama, you know what I'm saying? So she in here by herself right now because the other dogs is too big and they was using her as a pillow. So you know the stuff that she's going through right now, she she, she don't she don't she don't need that with uh, them big dogs crawling on her and everything like that because they some monsters compared to her. But she been hanging in there, you know what I'm saying? But you know I just feel like with the drawn out puppies, you know what I'm saying is. It's like dehydration. It's like they, uh, what they call it? Fading puppies. My bad. The fading puppies, I feel like, you know what I'm saying? It's, de it's dehydration. So you keep them fluid up. I I'm about to give her some more saline and just shoot it in her. You know what I'm saying? Give her treatments. You know, if I had an uh, incubator, I I'd have put it in her. But, you know, anybody don't know what an incubator is for? I mean, it's, it's basically ICU for your pups. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get put them in a place, you know what I'm saying, to get them back well. But uh, if you don't got that, then you got to keep on putting uh, saline in them and everything. So, but yeah, man, uh, I ain't even gonna lie, you know, uh, hey, this been, uh, it's been, it's been, it's been a learning, a learning curve, you know what I'm saying, and I'm happy, you know what I'm saying, uh, for it and. With this last pup that Fiona and a half out of seven, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm hoping to, you know what I'm saying, to make him survive, you know what I'm saying? With all these treatments to, so I could come and get, so I could be able to give y'all some answers about what's, you know, of what to do if anybody had to experience this and everything. So I feel like we got everything in place now uh, from everything that we've seen on YouTube is, uh, only thing that we didn't have with the other puppies is uh, the silver stuff. So, we got it now. And uh, the other pup that passed, you know what I'm saying, my wife, she used this on him, but she didn't know the measurement. So, she put, she did like, like she did like eight ounces of saline into into the uh the nebulizer nebulizer and uh she put three drops of that in there not knowing that it had to be 50 50. so uh yeah so that's what happened and we like i said she, you know she took the pup to the vet and uh yep the pup died in the vet hands while she was examining it and she said yeah this is a sign of uh aspiration Aspiration pneumonia. So that's it. that's what it is, and I just want to come to give y'all this video and everything. And uh, yeah, man, uh, I'm very excited for the future of what I'm about to give y'all, man. Just look at these pups right here; they are so amazing. They are so amazing. Kiki's the way Frenchies right here. You know what I'm saying? We got the boy over there, you see, he, he ain't as active as these three, but hey, we fighting. But these right here, you know, like I said, I, I wasn't expecting this litter right here until uh, next year. And it happened, they here, man, and it's crazy. So wait till y'all see these these uh, bad boys grow up. And that's two girls and a boy. And, and uh, what else I was about to say? Uh, yeah, so I forgot what the hell I was about to say, but yeah, these these gonna be some beautiful pups for sure, for sure. Hey, yeah, we ain't giving up on. Oh, uh, that's what I was about to say. The um, 
we we completely stopped giving giving him food through his mama milk stopped two feeding we did everything possible for this this guy right here to survive you know what i'm saying i said if he gonna eat he gonna eat some mush which is parental pro plan mixed up in the vitamix blender uh with a uh, baby baby food rice and warm water warm water with uh 100 percent pumpkin that's what the mush is and uh I put a little water right there. I take, I'm going to take that water out at night when I go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, they won't fall in it, drown it or whatnot. Especially him because I put him in there to eat. He'll fall asleep for being so weak on the, um, in the dog food. So, um, yes, I'm going to take that out. But as you see, we got these three thriving. So, you know, this little guy right there is not out the wood. And little mama over here, you see she chilling. She ain't giving up. She ain't out the woods. So she ain't giving up, we ain't giving up. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, over here at Kiki's, the way Frenchies, when it comes to pups, we're going to do everything in our, in our power, in our program, to save every pup. If they got a will to live, hey, we're going we gonna to see that they do that. For sure. But like I said, fading pups, to me, I feel like it's just dehydration. Dehydration, you know what I'm saying? So you just keep feeding them because, you know, a dog can uh, drink too much milk and be dehydrated, you know? And, you know, when I pull up her skin, when I pull up the skin, it, it stays, it stays up. Go, you know, so that's how you know it's dehydrated. So dehydration or something, you know, something ain't going on in the inside ain't functioning right. You know, from her eyes, her eyes was uh crusting it up, but she didn't have, she didn't do no aspiration like the other dogs. So I just keep them clinked off and keeping her hydrated and fed, and she's still rocking and rolling. She be uh. Yeah, she four weeks now, 7.5 ounces, you know what I'm saying? So I want to see her survive and see what she turned turn out to be, you know what I'm saying? Doing everything to keep her alive. You know, I don't got no, yes, I don't got no incubator box or nothing and all that, but hey, you know, I'm doing, I'm doing everything I can to make her survive, so... But I ain't worried about none of y'all out there with what y'all got to say, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to negativity, you know, the real recognize real. I don't even know why I'm feeding that right now. But anyway, but yeah, y'all see little mama. So. That's about it, y'all. Hey, uh. Yeah, uh. It's a journey, man, but it's it's a good one. It's a good one. So, here, here the pups right here. So, hey, that pumpkin got they butt, they uh, they poop coming out real solid over there. So yeah, but hey, yeah, I hope hopefully everybody having a blessed day. Uh, you know, thanks for coming by, checking out the page and everything. And uh yeah, the future looking real bright. So um yeah, y'all have a good one. Have any questions, uh anything y'all wanna share and down in the comments, you know, put it down there. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm looking, I'm reading, uh we learning, we learning together. And uh don't be what what you feel, what you think, put it down there, you know. And uh we gonna get through this. We gonna learn together, straight up. So put your comments down there. Uh, let's communicate. Communication rules the nation. You know what I'm saying? So uh, don't uh, hesitate to communicate. Uh, Y'all have a blessed, blessed day. Holla.